Hi, this is Thomas Shepard, and this screencast is a part of the MCAS project at Athabasca University. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to take your audio project in Audacity and convert it to a MP3 file. Now, before I do that, I want to show you uh, the Audacity download page uh, because we need a plugin to allow Audacity to convert files over to MP3. So we just go into our download page, click there. And in there, you will see, uh, if you scroll down, plugins and libraries. We need the lame MP3 encoder. So we click that. And the instructions are pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Pay particular attention to this one. When you first install the lame encoder, it's going and you try to use it in Audacity and export an MP3 file, uh, what it's going to do is going to look for this file, lame underscore enc dot dll. So you have to navigate there to this these folders, okay, and then select that file and click open and OK. Once you do that, you only have this a one-time thing. You only have to do it again. So uh, I already already have it done, and it's one of the reasons why I can't show you because it's already set up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to export this project as an MP3 file. I'm going to go file, export. And the great thing about this now uh, in Audacity, in recent versions, it's actually allowed you, when you go to export as an MP3, to put in what we call metadata. This is very important, uh, and I'll do a session on this later on, provide some more information. Uh, it's basically the way that uh, iTunes, for example, reads this information. And uh, the easiest way to explain it is when you're playing a fo audio file in an MP3 player, whatever you put in here, is what will appear on the, the mp3 screen as it scrolls across so artist name title track album all this kind of stuff and as you notice it doesn't too it's nothing too germane to uh, podcasting or, or anything like that uh, usually I like to use it through iTunes I used to like to convert and set up my uh, ID 3 tags which is what they're called now uh, we're, we're not going to bother too much with that I just want to save my file for now as an mp3 file so I'm going to say OK and as you know, I've, I've done this several times. In other words, I've repeated this screencast several times. Uh, we're going to change this. This is version 5. Yes, I've done it that many times. And uh, we're going to hit Save. When you do, it's going to warn you that it's going to take all these tracks and merge them down to two stereo channels. Perfect. So I'm going to say OK. And you'll see the file being uh, changed over to or exported as an MP3 there. Now, we can just open that MP3 file and have a look if you want. So we'll go in here and I'm going to go to my uh, documents folder, MCAST, and I save that file into, oops, sorry, saved it into uh, MP3 file. So it's number five I did. It's going to open. Okay, and there's our, our file. And I'm just going to play a little bit of it. There's our music that begins at the start. Notice how it's fading out. Hi, this is Thomas Shepard, and this podcast is a part of the MCAS project at Athabasca University. In today's podcast, we are going to talk about audacity and recording a very simple podcast. We will include an introduction, a con some content, and a closing. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find our podcast on iTunes. And I want to thank everybody for listening. Have a nice day. And that's the basically your one file. All those tracks merge down into a stereo file. And it's uh, really, really good. I'm just going to exit out of Audacity there. Just go back. That one file is all these tracks put together. So that's it for now. I want to thank you for listening. And if you want to pass back some feedback or some uh, comments, uh, we'd appreciate it. Uh, you can contact me at my email address, tomshep at gmail.com. That's T-O-M-S-H-E-P-P -P at gmail.com. Thank you for listening and have a great day.